old woman or old dear or lovely, lovely, quirky old woman, you know. And I think, oh, I don't know. I don't think of myself as old woman, but I realise I am old woman. My name is Carolyn Pertwee. I can't really say where I'm from because I've lived in so many different places, but all in England. Mum was an actress. My stepfather was an actor and director. Um, Dad was a writer. So it didn't really, I think, occur to me to be anything else. I had very sort of lucky breaks in the beginning. We were rehearsing. I mean, we don't, they were all rehearsed, but we were rehearsing for the next play to go on, but they were opening with Duel of Angels. And um, the duel is between the two, two women, the sort of so-called goody-good angel and the badder angel. It's a very wordy, long play. And I was understudying Sally Hume, the actress Sally Hume. It's the one in white, the so-called pure one. And uh, <coughs> anyway, we'd all come into rehearsals for the, that day, and then as People said, have you heard the rumour? Like, what rumour? Sally Hume's got mumps. Oh, we hadn't opened in Duel of Angels yet. Anyway, the next thing was I was called down by the management and they said, Carolyn, do you know the part of Lucille? I did know it. Um, and uh, so we were on that night. Um, I don't think, when I look back now, I don't know how I was able to get on that stage and play that big part with, with no rehearsals. I, I suppose one has, I wasn't particularly, I wasn't a particularly self-confident person, but it, 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 it's all blurred now how I did it, but I did it, um, yeah. I did a play called Dear Brutus by J.M. Barry. I've, I've got some pictures I can show you of that in which it's a lovely play. It's a play where there's this house gathering of people and they all talk about what they would have liked to be and it's, it's Lob's house and he sends them off to this magical wood and the second act, it depicts the dream and the one man wishes he had a child. So in that scene, I was his dream child. And it's very sad because at the end she said, oh, I, I, I don't want to just be a dream child because she doesn't exist. Um, but now the briefs that come in are always for old woman or old dear or lovely, lovely, quirky old woman, you know. And I think, oh, I don't know. I don't think of myself as old woman, but I realise I am old woman. Um, and that takes quite a bit of adjusting to. And you feel you ought to sort of walk in looking, looking like that, but that's not, you know. Um, I wish there would be more roles for older women because the world is, we're so inundated with them. I mean, the older generation is huge, huge. Um, and actresses are always complaining there are not enough parts for older women. Um, so I wish there were more. Uh, I mean, there's, there's always very few parts for people. I mean, this industry is mad. I remember going to Spotlight when I was doing my picture and having an interview there, and they said, uh, it's, I think it was 90% of the profession are out of work, just because of the business being what it is. So many people wanting to do it. And you'll you notice that very often the people that are working are the ones that keep working, and they keep appearing, and um, not be adventurous and try, always try new people. They With younger people, I think younger people are they will experiment more with. Um, these were done by my, our first grandchild. Um, that was my husband, and he was always known as Gangar. And I was known as Ganny. Um, yes, it's written there, Ganny. And that was Jessica, who's now 14, but I think she was probably about four when she did those. And we loved them, and we've, we've put them there. They've been there ever since. And that's show business for you.